Which string trimmer is actually best? Well, to answer that question, today these six string trimmers will be going head to head in a scientific battle royale of five different challenges, including grass, straw, the clock, an obstacle course, and finally a beautifully cooked rotisserie chicken. <laughs> So to do this properly, I've assembled the six best battery-powered weed eaters on the market. The Greenworks 60 volt, Cobalt 24 volt, Milwaukee M18, the Ryobi 40 volt, DeWalt 60 volt, and Ego 56 volt. But wait, I can hear you now. What about gas? And honestly, me too. But for each one of these tests, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of a twist. I'm gonna be throwing in a gas-powered string trimmer as well, just to see how these six compare to gas. Because, you know, I gotta be fair, right? B -b 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 bad bad to the bone. <laughs> to make each one of these tests even, I've replaced the crappy, I mean stock weed eater string with our very own TLR string. Grass kicker, shameless plug, I know. So with my neighbors sufficiently confused, nothing. I figured it was time to move on to challenge number one, the edger evaluation. So with this test, I'm trying to simulate using your string trimmer as an edger. So how you get those crispy clean lines on your lawn, between your beds, things like that. Which one of these string trimmers does the best job of that? First up is this Ego. Overall, I thought it did really well. I felt like I got a lot of power out of it, a good ripping power that was able to provide good clean edges. Didn't experience too much wobble, which was really nice. Next two up were the DeWalt and the Ryobi. Honestly, those were basically a toss up, both lower tier in my opinion. M maybe not quite the worst, but definitely did not have the same power that that Ego was putting out. It just honestly felt like I'd have to do a couple passes. I know this isn't like a perfect test. I just did the best I could with how to simulate creating an edge on these sod squares or rectangles, whatever. But they both just like, you're gonna have to trust me on it, that they felt a little bit less powerful, less ripping power, create those clean edges like the Ego had. Now we got the Milwaukee M18, really impressed with this. A lot of torque, as you can see, it was like twisting in my hand and it straight up ripped through the edge of the saw. I was really impressed with this one. All right, the last two weed eaters I'm testing out here are the Cobalt and Greenworks weed eaters. Very not good, sorry to say. They both felt uh, really weak. The Cobalt, for some reason, just kept cutting off throughout the test and then the green works felt like a kind of like a play toy neither one of them possessed anything close to the milwaukee or ego uh, those two really stood alone in the battery category moving on to gasoline man this still ripped through these edges i was really impressed it's been a minute since i used my gas powered weed eater edger whatever you want to call it and i was Pretty impressed, it was, it was legit. All right, tallying up the results from the edger evaluation. Last place is gonna go with the Greenworks. Was not impressed with the 60 volt. Followed by Cobalt, Ryobi, Milwaukee, and then taking first place in the battery category is the Ego, but overall was definitely the still. Very impressed with that one. We'll see if they hold on. All right guys, so name of the game with this one, Obstacle Extravaganza. Just came up with it. But basically what I've done is I've de-stringed I don't know, is that a word? D-string, each one of these string trimmers and taking the battery out, we got fully charged batteries. I'm going to restring them, pop the battery in, give my entire lawn a good little snip. This is not a test for like precision necessarily. We're covering that with different tests. Name of the game here is speed, speed and ease of use. So if I get hung up with restringing the weed eater. Well, that's exactly what happened when I restrung the weed eater. So I'm just gonna give you bare bones. This is exactly how it was when I used it. So you know exactly what you could expect. Ain't no fluff. All right, so I'm not gonna make you watch the last four. It feels like cruel and unusual punishment, but they were all uh, pretty tough on this one, honestly. The worst by far was the cobalt. Uh, it took forever for to get that string fed through the, the head on that one. And then once it did get going, it for some reason all of a sudden kept quitting. That's the one in the top right. Uh, it would just go for probably 15, 20 seconds and then completely stop. And then the second worst was the DeWalt, uh, but the head on the thing was, was acted really weird. You can see how the protection portion of the head is really small and I don't know if that was like messing with the way that the string was flipping around there, but it kept getting wrapped around that head. 
Uh, so it did not do well, but then uh, followed up by the Greenworks. That one was not great, but not awful. It took me about four minutes, 22 seconds, but the best out of that crew was Milwaukee, but none of these blew me away. The Milwaukee still took three minutes and 42 seconds, and as you'll see later, some of the other ones were much better. Woo. All right, now that we got those out of the way, man, now we're onto the Ryobi. This is one of my favorite ones to restring because it's so easy. The way that they built the head on this one is awesome because you can see all the way through and you can thread your string all the way through that head. It makes it super easy. It took me like 15 seconds to restring. And then, honestly, I was really impressed with the overall tool. It didn't feel like out of control or anything like that. It felt really powerful compared to how it felt on the edger test, which was kind of strange. I don't know. Like, I just felt really in control of my movements more so than some of the other tools um, and more so than I felt like I was on that edger test, but I was really, really impressed with this. Finished in 242. All right, last up in this battery category is the Ego. Had really, really high hopes for this one with that power load technology. All you have to do is press a button for it to restring. Make sure you have the battery in it before you start pressing the button. But it took like, I don't know, five seconds for it to restring the entire thing. It was really cool. Uh, Kind of cool satisfying clicking noise i will say that the head spun the opposite direction from all the other ones it was fine because i was walking like left to right which was wasn't too unnatural but just keep that in mind that it was going the opposite direction but this one was really great i think it was two minutes and 17 seconds so flew through it and finally is this old gasser man i've been using this thing for like a decade i feel like i could restring it with my eyes closed but it is a pain because you do have to take the head off kind of manually wind the line around the head uh, two separate times, which is annoying. Unlike the batteries where you can just line it, twist it, you're good. Then you gotta fill the gas up, prime it, let it rip. And uh, it's obviously been a second since I used this because you can see all the crud getting burnt off there. But speed with this one was great. I felt like I didn't really have to go over places super often with it. Very efficient tool. I think that's where gas kind of shines a little bit in power in the speed aspect. But I will say that the overall ease of use in comparison to the batteries was a little bit tougher. It really, like I had to fight the spinning action of the, the head more so keeping it up upright than I did with the batteries. The batteries were a little bit more smooth, honestly. Okay, so based on those times, numbers don't lie. Check the scoreboard. Ego came out on top again. Man, they're crushing it. Cobalt, on the other hand, struggling. Did gas beat the best battery here? It did not. So with the question of precision and speed answered and Cobalt more than certainly licking its wounds, now it's time to move on to the next test, which is run time. Super important with battery powered tools. So it's gonna be a math equation. It's gonna be run time minus charge time. So what that will hopefully do is level out the differences in amp hours on batteries. We got a bunch of fully charged batteries. It's time to let her rip. Ah, 16 and a half minutes down, cobalt, done. I thought this would be a great time for me to ask you, you know, if you don't mind subscribing, that'd be cool. Who does this? Nobody. <laughs> and it is 21 minutes, go all, da 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 Proof that gas died at 41 minutes, uh, like an idiot, had my mic off. Fifty-six minutes the Ryobi died, fifty-eight minutes the Ego died. An hour and fifty-one minutes down, Milwaukee still chugging along. Oh, and it just died. Wow. Okay, so an hour and fifty-one minutes. Now the Milwaukee's dead. We got all of them dead now. Now that the batteries are completely dead, it's time to move on to phase number two of the runtime challenge, which is charge time. All right, watching batteries charge does not make for very good YouTube videos, so let's cut to the results. All right, just tallying up the runtime results. Obviously, Milwaukee almost did it for like a week. Uh, it was just under two hours. Greenworks was just over an hour. So 
big difference, but Greenworks still held its own. And now tallying up those charge times, DeWalt, get out of here, leave. Milwaukee, <laughs> pretty dang long charge time too. Cobalt, two hours and 10 minutes. That, I mean, unreal. So there's a big disparity between the fastest and slowest. Obviously you can see Ego charged in 21 minutes, Greenwork charged in 19, very, very impressive. And then the difference between those results, freedom time. Why? It doesn't matter. Land of the free, home of the brave, it doesn't have to make sense. But the difference being green, good, red, bad. DeWalt, very, very bad. Cobalt, very, very bad. I don't bother with those two, honestly. I'm just gonna call it now. They're not very good. Um, Greenworks surprisingly came out on top on this one. Ego nipping at its heels. Milwaukee, pretty powerful tool. Runs for a long time, but also takes a really long time to charge. Oh, I can use my gas string trimmer forever. Can you? Really? Because when I did it, it only ran for 40 minutes. Uh, it got slaughtered by Milwaukee. And then, assuming I don't have any gas available, it took me 22 minutes to go to the gas station, come back, mix my oil, and fill it up. So, which one runs longer? It's up for debate. Okay, so tallying up all those bald eagle points, Greenworks. Out of nowhere, off the top deck, first place, jeez. With the gas trimmer absolutely reeling from that terrible performance, now it's time to move on to the next challenge, straw. In an effort to see which string trimmer was most powerful, I zip tied a bunch of straw together, put it on a pole, stuck it out in my yard. Period of March Madness right around the corner, I'm doing something a little different with this challenge. I've summed up the past three results, averaged them out, and I will be seeding each brand off of their current seed. I'm giving the gas the buy because I, I really think it will probably be the best in this category, but uh, I'm seeding all the batteries and giving the gas the first round buy, straw bracket. And the first round is underway. We've got Greenworks and Ryobi going head to head, two iconic brands. Looks like uh, Ryobi got the quick start, and but Greenworks it, is making quick work of its bundle. I'm giving the win to Greenworks on this one. So Greenworks moves forward, Milwaukee and DeWalt next. All right, two brands not really known for their lawn tool prowess, but it looks like Milwaukee is taking the walkie through round one, giving the win to Milwaukee. All right, up next is Ego versus Cobalt. If history is any indicator, this is pretty much a foregone conclusion, but that's why we play the game. So let's see how it goes. And uh, Ego wins, yeah, fine. The game, survive in advance, we're on to round two. Looks like Steel's finally getting in the action against Greenworks. In my opinion, Steel is a heavy favorite in this matchup, but we'll see how it goes. That's why we play the game. Ho oh, ho ho! And probably the surprise of the century, Greenworks takes down Steel. Wow. And moving on to the semifinals, game five. Two big dogs. Ego, Milwaukee, let the big dogs eat. Let's see how this one turns out. I got my money on Milwaukee. It was powerful earlier on. Yo, that was so close. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can call that one right now. Let's watch it one more time. Half speed. All right. Okay. I think I gotta give the nod to Ego. It was just crisp and rip. I think I'm giving the nod to Ego. Da, 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 da. Finals, game six. Greenworks, Ego. It's all on the table now. Two big dogs, two titans of the industry right now. Head to head. Ego's jumped out to an early lead. Let's see if Greenworks can catch up. Doesn't look like it's gonna be able to. No. Looks like Ego's taking home another prize. Oh, I had way too much fun with that one. Congratulations, Ego. You have taken home the straw trophy. You won the straw cutting contest. 2024, in the books. All right, so tallying up the results from the straw showdown. Ego, number one, again. Greenworks, number two. Milwaukee number three, tough draw for Milwaukee. Definitely could have seen them in the finals, but I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Actually, I do make the rules on this one and that's just the way it happened. Now, 
The moment you've all been waiting for. You thought straw cutting in slow motion was cool. You have seen nothing until you have seen a chicken cut in slow motion. I present to you Chicken Challenge. Ready to rumble. Right off the bat, we got Milwaukee. This should be a ripper. Oh my gosh. Take out some frustration, why don't you? Jeez, you can see through the thing. Next up, Ryobi. Ooh, look at that. Slapping the, slapping the chicken. Hmm. In hindsight, I would have probably put the weed eater head in a different location. All right, it's kind of like a little bit of a ho-hum performance compared to the Milwaukee, but uh, some shredding is happening. Not a lot, not a lot of shredding, honestly. Kind of a pretty good reflection of Ryobi's performance today. Not so good, not so bad. All right, DeWalt, this should be interesting. It's already halfway undressed. And again, Tyler, what the heck? I can't even, I can't even see it. It doesn't appear that we missed much though. But all right. Oh good Lord. Oh good Lord, here comes Ego. Not even spinning yet. Oh good grief. Look at all that chicken. Oh, pop the hip joint. No, oh, he's going back for more. He has enough. No, he's done, dude. All right, green works. 60 volt. Little slice action up. Man, maybe he's just getting ready. Ah, looks a lot like a Ryobi performance. Not impressive thus far. Still shredding. Still shredding. No. No, that's too clean. Gas. Steel. This is your time to shine, baby. Right here. This is power. All right. Slow start. Go. Oh, it's going everywhere. Hey, that's a ripper right there. I said it earlier. It was ripping through. Good grief. It doesn't even look like a chicken anymore. Oh, yay. Ending on cobalt. Okay. Should be fun. Okay. Not so good. I am shocked. My son is 10 months old and he has four teeth. Guaranteed, if I give him this chicken, he does more damage than that cobalt does. A, a baby could do better than that. All right, so summing up those results, it was very clear that Milwaukee and Ego were the two most powerful in terms of pulverizing that poultry still I would say probably did the best out of all of them um, so I am going to give it the nod and the green check mark for this challenge that yeah you're going to you're going to be able to uh, shred up some chicken for tacos or something better with the still than you would with uh, with any of the other battery power all right so after all the results are in and tallied last place I'm cobalt Last place, it doesn't even get a number. Next, DeWalt was also equally, not equally, but not good, good either. Next, Ryobi, very disappointed with Ryobi. Third, Greenworks, pleasantly surprised with this one. Second, Milwaukee, first, Ego. Congratulations, Ego, take a bow, that thing is sick. Oh guys, it's the wee hours of the morning. Saturday, Friday morning, Saturday morning. Um, this video will go live in about four hours. I realized I forgot to film an outro, so cool. Um, anyway, I had an absolute blast filming this video. It was a labor of love, took so much work, but it was really, really fun. Like I said, really impressed with the Ego. What, you couldn't get really go wrong with the Milwaukee, especially if you get another battery with that. Um, they were really neck and neck throughout the entire performance. Um, save your money on the Cobalt, the Walt, don't even bother. Uh, you'd be happy getting a Greenworks if you needed to save a little bit of money, but if not, I would definitely, de definitely recommend the Ego or the Milwaukee. Ryobi, nah, don't worry about it. It's not very good. But tomorrow morning, I'm taking Jude to Waffle House for the first time. He's gonna eat a waffle, and I'm gonna come back and watch this video with y'all. Can't wait. See y'all again. Keep cutting. Peace.